discover we were online searching for cool projects for kids and eco projects as we always doing um, bubble wrap we found out that bubble wrap makes cool textures for kids I get this in the mail and I try really hard not to use it myself when we're shipping out our products like buddy friendly our watercolors and our crayons but I, I um, don't throw these things away I save them to recycle but I got really excited to find out you can actually paint and make a texture with it so I'm going to show you how easy this is for little kids to do um, I cut out a little square it's as simple as getting the small one I think for little kids hands I would cut a little piece it looks like it would get pretty messy if you had big sheets and you're painting it and the kids didn't have you know the control to take care of it so I'd actually cut a little tiny strip just to get started so I'm going to use some Ready Friendly, our, um, our red watercolor, which is um, cornstarch base, non-toxic and great for kids. And I'm going to paint uh, some red on here, and I'm going to show you how cool this texture is going to be. So I'm going to take the paint, paint it, and you can use an artist paintbrush. I was using one earlier, or you can use a sponge brush. I think for little hands, the sponge brush works faster and quicker. So here we go. I've got paint all over the bubble wrap and I'm going to apply it to the paper and I'm going to squeeze it down and then lift it. How cool that is! I'm going to do a couple different colors like a rainbow. Um, I'm going to put some yellow on the same one we were working on. A little bit more red. Now what could this be used for? This, this could be like a cool texture for greeting cards. Well, you can see that one didn't come out that good, but I think I put too much paint on it. So let's try it again. I'll do less paint. Okay, just one of the most important things I want to review is that art for young kids is not perfect. Um, when you go into it working with kids, it don't go in it thinking that the kids' artwork has to come out perfect. It, it, art is an experiment. Each time you try it, you try it until you figure out how it works how this works. So I kind of took off and lifted some of the paint. Lay it down. Ta-da! Look at that. That's great. See that? Okay. Um, another way you could do this, which is really clever, we saw them take paper rolls, um, toilet paper rolls, and wrap it around. The kids can roll it. We'll show you how to do that later this week. So another way that's easy for kids to hang on to this, because it is messy. You see my hands are getting pretty messy, and sometimes kids um, don't like to get their hands messy. What you could do is cut a little piece out and turn it into a stamp. Um, I'm cutting this out. Just going to gather it. You can give it to kids and tell them just to use it like a blotter. Stick it in paint, and they can blot and make little cool textures. You see how that's working? Let me do a couple over here. So you can act, it could actually turn into a stamp. And all out of recycled trash. Also get pretty crafty. Um, it doesn't just have to be blotches. You can actually make little shapes. I'm going to do a triangle. And I'm going to do a circle. So I'm going to cut out a little triangle shape. Sometimes young kids get really excited when they achieve a shape without trying. So I made a little triangle and I'm going to paint this one yellow. It has a little red on it so I'm going to probably get a little orange. So I painted it, the little triangle, and I'm going to see if I can make a shape on my paper here. Actually, I'm going to start with the new paper so you can see the fresh imprints. So this is a triangle, and if I just kind of blot it down and rip it off, well, i got a little triangle shape right here. I'm going to try a circle. Um, like anything else with kids and art, you have to experiment and try different things. Um, sometimes they're not going to come out perfect the first time, but as you get skilled and practice, you can get good at it and see how things work. As you seen earlier, I was I didn't know that if I put too much paint, it was going to get blotchy. So keep trying it. Don't give up the first time if it gets messy. This one's an, a circle, so let's see how this makes the circle. Ta-da! Look at I got a perfect circle. And that is bubble wrap out of the mail. Our bubble wrap 
here we did. It took a couple times for me to try it and get the feel of it and enjoy it. Um, sometimes kids will try it out and it'll come out imperfect and they'll feel like they failed and um, it's not nice artwork. So try to get past that and just let and show them that you know art is very experimental. You got to keep trying it over and over until you achieve something. Um, nothing is perfect. The fun thing about doing a project like this, touching, holding things, using paint, that experience is the fun part. That's what's the most important part of doing art projects. It's not getting the project to look perfect, picture perfect. It's the experience a child goes through that's the fun part. I'm on top of the world, eh? I'm on top of the world, eh? Cut these